Hey guys, if you want to create the cinematic look here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, there's one important step. So if you, for example, just increase the saturation, we have this problem that all of our shadows are also increased and it doesn't look as natural. So many times when you try to create the cinematic look, you want to desaturate the shadows. And there's two ways how you can do this. So let's reset this one. So the first way is that you go to the curves and then you go to the curve Luma versus saturation. Because here the left side, that's the shadows. So we can bring down the shadows and then we can create a second point and we keep this point somewhere here and it depends now if you go more to the left that means more of the shadows will be selected of your adjustments or you go more to the right that means less of the shadows will be affected if you change your colors so that's the first way but we also can redo this one and create a new note there's actually a second way and that it's called chroma darkness but we don't have this in the ipad you have this on the desktop version but how can we do this on the ipad as well so you have to come to the shortcuts menu option command and k and if we go down here to color scroll all the way down we have a folder called presets and you can give those presets a shortcut so i gave chroma darkness a shortcut so if i now have a new note i can actually hit my shortcut what it actually is doing is it's creating an area here inside of the qualifier so everything to the left will not be selected so if i now go for example into the saturation and i increase the saturation you see that i don't affect as much my shadows than i was doing it before this is an amazing way how you can do movie and cinematic looks on davinci resolve for the ipad i hope you liked this video if yes hit like subscribe ding a ding in the bam bang gong and we we'll see us in the next video i'm daniel bye